Hello everyone, in this video we will talk about Inescape Speed and we will continue our video with a demo video about gravity and escape speed. We have this piece of fabric tied on a frame, so it simulates a two-dimensional space. The bodies will move on this two-dimensional space. If we put a big mass at the center, the fabric will sink. We simulate the gravitational force of attraction. We can say that gravity bends space. So, here the black fabric represents our space time, and we can say any object which has a mass bends the space-time and creates its own gravitational field. Any other object which enters the gravitational field of the massive object starts to uh, move under the effect of the gravitational force. Or in other words, the massive object starts to pull the small objects which enter to its gravitational field. In order to simulate the escape velocity, we are going to make a magnet cannon. We need a small magnet and three steel balls. We put two of them at one side and release the third one near the other side. So it kicks the magnet and the ball at the other side is shot. With a larger magnet, we will make a stronger one. We try with the first cannon. The ball doesn't get escape velocity. With the second cannon, the ball surpasses escape velocity. Now we will continue with calculations of escape speed. On Earth, which has mass and radius, we have a rocket. We have to launch this rocket, which has a mass m. <coughs> Initially, we know that an object, in order to move freely or to be free, it must have positive total energy or its total energy must be equal to at least zero to move freely. So, total energy must be equal to zero. Initially, this rocket has only gravitational potential energy. And this gravitational potential energy is negative gravitational constant g, mass of Earth times mass of rocket over the distance between the rocket and the center of the Earth. This gravitational potential energy is negative. It means this rocket is bounded to the Earth and it cannot move now. So, to make this equation zero, we should give some kinetic energy to this rocket, which is 1 over 2 mass of rocket times speed square. Now we have an equation. When we take this negative potential energy to the other side of this equal to sign, we have the equation which is kinetic energy of the rocket is equal to gravitational potential energy. Now we can cancel these two masses on both sides and rearrange this equation for the speed and now we have the formula, which is in square root 2g mass of Earth over the distance between the rocket and or satellite and the Earth. And this formula is called an escape speed. In conclusion, we can define the escape speed as this. The escape speed is the minimum speed that the rocket must have to overcome the gravity of the Earth. Now let's see these calculations in the question. The question is this. 
A thousand kilogram satellite orbiting the Earth is 30 km 30,000 kilometers away from the center of the Earth. Answer the questions below. Mass of the Earth is 6 times 10 to the power of 24 kilograms. Now we know the mass of satellite, the distance between the center of the Earth and the satellite, and mass of Earth. Questions. A. What is the potential energy of the Earth satellite system? Or B. What must, what must the speed of the satellite be to escape from this orbit? So in this question, we have to find two things. First, gravitational potential energy. And the second, the escape speed of the satellite. Solution. For A, firstly, we write the gravitational potential energy formula. This is negative. G mass of Earth times mass of satellite over the distance between them. And we will put these given numbers in the formula. This formula gets the form like this. Universal constant G times mass of Earth times mass of satellite over the distance. Now the distance is given in kilometers but we convert this kilometer into meters. And now we will cancel these meters and also kilograms. As a unit, we have Newton times meter, which is joules. After the calculation of these numbers, we get the answer as gravitational potential energy is equal to negative 13 points. 34 times 10 to the power of 9 joules. This was the question A. For question B, we write the formula for escape speed and again we put the given numbers in the formula and now we get the equation 2 times gravitational constant times mass of Earth over the distance. And again, we will work with the units, meters will be cancelled, and kilograms. As a unit, we left Newton times meter over kilogram. This Newton over kilogram is the unit of the gravity. And we know that gravity has two units as gravitational force. Newton over kilogram as gravitational acceleration meter per second square. So we replace this Newton over kilogram with meter per second square. Here we have meter times meter, meter squares and over second square. And after this calculation of these numbers, we get in square root 26.68 times 10 to the power of 6 as unit meter square over second square. And this number goes out of this square as our answer Velocity escape speed 51.65 kilometers per second. So our satellite must have this speed in order to escape from the orbit. That's all for our video. If you have any question or problem, you can ask your teacher. Thank you.